everyone, I'm Judy and I'm addicted to puzzles. Today I'm here with uh, the Red Puzzle Challenge. I talked about this uh, probably a couple months ago that I was going to work on the 250 piece blue kazoo, all red puzzle, and the gem turt 240 piece magma puzzle um and i was like i wonder which one will be harder even though i already knew which one of which one would be harder to be honest with you so this was blue kazoo 250 gem turt 240. now the blue kazoo puzzle is just you know your standard grid cut pieces nothing fancy they're just regular grid cut um the Blue kazoo took me four hours and 30 minutes, um, which I don't feel that was too bad of a time for 250 pieces. And the way I go about these, these normal grid cut solid color puzzles is that I always start with the frame because it's, you know, you have, you have to have your border when you don't know, you know, when you don't have like sections to work on. So I started with the frame. Like if you know kind of the piece shape, then I'll find those pieces that may or may not go there. And if it doesn't fit in any, you know, place, then I put it off to the side. So I separate it from the big pile of pieces because if I don't do that, I'll pick up the same piece over and over again. So I put that off to the side and then I'll try another similar piece and another and another and so forth. Um, but when I put a new piece off to the side, I check to see if it matches the pieces that are already there. So in a sense, I have two different sections of the puzzle going. I'll have the, the puzzle, you know, with the border and, you know, I'll fit some pieces in and then I'll have the pieces off to the side that didn't fit near the border. So when I did this one, as you'll see in the time lapse that I'll have at the end of this, um, after, after I talk, you'll see that I had a pretty good, um, inner, inner part going. And then I had the puzzle itself, um, which to me worked. I don't know how other people go about, you know, solid color puzzles, but that's what works for me working, you know, with the puzzle and then off to the side with pieces that are probably in the middle. Um, but I think I did this one, I feel like I did it fairly, fairly good time. Um, so 250. I do have the thousand piece red, white, and black, and I will do those eventually, but I'm not going to do them like soon. <laughs> um, but I will, I'm going to do them eventually. And I kind of want to do them fairly close together so that I can intermix the pieces because I'm pretty sure they're all the same cut. So I can have like a black, I'd basically have three black, red, and white puzzles, which I think would be kind of, kind of cool. Okay. So four hours, 29 minutes or four hours, 30 is, it, it was about four and a half hours. I think it was actually four hours and 29 minutes though. Then we have Magma by Gem Turk. And I know you can't see it that well. It's 240 pieces. The pieces are all shaped weird. Um, you don't know what the front side is. You don't know what the back side is. Um, and it's red, Magma. This... <laughs> This puzzle took me 11 hours and 47 minutes. Yes. This little tiny, super cute, little crazy shaped puzzle. Almost 12 full hours. Almost three times as long as it took me to do the uh, blue kazoo puzzle. Super insane. Uh, I don't know if it was the way the lighting is in my room, but it was... Uh, I've never timed myself doing one of these, but it was just really challenging and there was a lot of shadow. So I have one more impossible gem turt 
which this is, that's what this is. It's an impossible gem turt puzzle. And this one is called magma. The blue one is called ocean. The yellow one was summer. The round opaque one was the unicorn. And I've done all of those. The only one I haven't done is the white one that's called air. Um, I am going to do that one. Um, it'll be probably a couple months cause I have, um, I have some wooden puzzles I need to work on. So that one will probably be in a couple months cause I don't, these puzzles for some reason, maybe it's because they're taller. I don't know. My lights cast a really weird shadow on them. And I think that made it harder. Um, the last few that I've done of these, the other four, I did them just on a board under natural light in a whole different room uh, in my living room. So I don't know. Uh, when I do the air, I'll try to time myself and see if um, see if it still takes me 12 hours because I usually do it over different days. And then um, we'll see if maybe it was my lights that kind of hindered my progress on this. Either way, these impossible gem turt puzzles are difficult. They're challenging. They're super fun. They have the cutest pieces I've ever seen in a puzzle. Um, some of them look like, I don't know, they just remind me of little people arms. They're just, they're fun. So the way I went about the magma puzzle is basically the same way I went about um this blue kazoo 250 piece is I would I did the I did the border first um but this one is so much more it's so much more challenging because you can do the border and then you know you find pieces here and there and then I have the pieces off to the side uh that as you'll see in the time lapse the time lapse isn't super clear though, and I really apologize for that. But again, I think it's because of the lights and the shadows. When you have a group of pieces that fit together, you still don't really know if they're the correct side up. So sometimes when you have a group, then you realize, oh, it goes over here, but you have to flip all the pieces over because it's not on the correct side of the puzzle. So that's one of the things that make this one so much more difficult than just a traditional grid cut, you know, cardboard puzzle. Um, you don't know what's up. You don't know what's down. The pieces are just so much more crazy and fun, but I had a blast doing both of these. Actually, this one, I was kind of surprised that it went as quick. I know the thousand piece will not go as quick and that's why I'm not going to do it until much later. If you get the chance, look up Gem Turt. Their puzzles are phenomenal. Yeah, their puzzles are just phenomenal. And then uh, if you like solid color puzzles, Blue Kazoo has the mini 250 pack of red, white, and black. And then they have the thousand piece of red, white, and black. So if you want to challenge yourself and do a solid puzzle, let me know how it goes. So that's it for me today. Um, Four and a half hours, almost 12 hours. Yeah. Gem Turt is clearly the harder puzzle. So, uh, have a wonderful day and thank you for watching my channel. And, uh, hope you do some fab puzzles and happy puzzling. Okay. Bye, everybody.